This video is for educational purposes only and only competent persons should attempt this installation. Be sure to turn your circuit breaker off before starting any electrical work. Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. And today I'd like to show you how to wire a half hot receptacle like this one right here when the power comes to the switch. I have a previous video of how to wire a half hot receptacle with the power coming to the receptacle. There's a good reason why you should be able to do both and that is that these may be 15 to 20 feet apart from each other and it may be inconvenient to go all the way over to the receptacle and then come back to the switch. It may cost you an extra 15 feet of cable, maybe 20 feet of cable. So it's important to be able to wire these half hot receptacles with power coming to the switch or with power coming to the receptacle. A half hot receptacle is one in which the upper portion is hot all the time, represented by this light being plugged in to the upper portion of the duplex receptacle and the bottom portion of the receptacle is controlled by a switch. You see I just turned on the switch and I have these two lights right here in my outlet tester and not only shows the half hot switch is working but it shows that the receptacle is properly wired. So I can turn it off, turn it on, turn it off and it doesn't affect the upper portion of the duplex receptacle because you see the light stays on the whole time. Now I'll show you how to wire a half hot receptacle with the power coming to the switch. First I'd like to show you the cabling. This is a 12-2 with ground cable and it comes into the box here where we're going to have the switch and we have two conductors, a black and a neutral and we have a bare ground wire and here we have a green ground wire attached to the box and that's going to be a bonding wire for the box and then over here we have a 12-3 with ground cable and so that's got three conductors so we got the black and the red and the white and the bare ground so that's uh, 12 because it's 12 gauge three three conductors with ground and that goes over to this box and we have the same cable over here uh, with the three conductors, the black, the red, the white, and I have a green wire that serves to bond the box to the grounding system of the house. First, I'd like to make a couple of tests, and this is my fluke voltage detector. You always test these out before you use them to make sure it's working properly. I have temporarily turned on the circuit breaker and have covered the ends of all the wires with wire connectors for safety. And the idea is I want to find the line wire, the one wire in this system that is hot. Of course, we've already mentioned that this is the one bringing the energy into the box. So it's pretty obvious with this situation. But if the walls were covered up with drywall, it wouldn't be so easy. So I'm going to show you how to make this test. You can just test all the wires in the two boxes. And there it is. It's this wire right here. That's the only one in either of these two boxes that's hot right there. So that's your line wire. So this is indeed, uh, by test, the line cable, the one that is bringing the electrical energy into the system. The other test I'd like to do is test for voltage. So I have my red lead on the line wire and I have the black lead on the neutral that goes with it and we're getting 122.5 volts. So we have a good strong voltage. Now the next test I'd like to do is we're gonna take and put the alligator clip on here and I'm gonna put it on the bare ground and we got 122.5 once again. So uh, that shows us that we have an excellent ground in this system. So with those tests, we found out that this is indeed the line wire. Uh, the neutral is excellent, the voltage is excellent, and the ground is excellent. So let's turn the circuit breaker off. So with the circuit breaker off, I'm gonna double check, and here's my Fluke 1AC voltage detector, and it is not showing that this wire is hot now. And the second check I'm going to do is I'm going to put my leads in the Wego lever nuts, and we see we got zero volts here. So that's uh, two double checks to make sure 
that the circuit breaker is indeed off. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the grounds together. So I'll take this bonding wire for the metal box and I'll put that in the wiggle lever nut. It's a five conductor wiggle lever nut. And put this one that goes to the power wire and this one right here that goes to the 12-3 with ground. And I've prepared a pigtail that's going to go to the switch. So we'll put this right in there and click it down. Our switch has the ground terminal in the bottom position. I'm going to bend these, put them in the back of the box, and see I'll have the ground ready right here in the lower position. Now this switch doesn't need a neutral. You notice I did leave one wiggle lever nut on here on this neutral wire. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these two neutral wires together. Just lift up the flap and push it down like that. And now this goes in the back of the box. So now that we have the neutral and the ground taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and put on the mud ring. This goes like that. And then it goes over these screws right here. Attach the ground wire to the green grounding terminal. So uh, next we're going to work on the black wires. I already have a pigtail going to uh, one of the brass terminals, a black pigtail. So we're going to hook these together. Let me explain this. The energy comes in here and we need a wire to come over here. It comes out right here and this will be hot all the time. This is hot all the time. This is hot all the time. This is hot all the time. Okay, so we're going to Go ahead and put on the three connector Wago lever nut. Put that in there, put that in there, put that in there. And if you want to check these, you can turn it around and you can check to make sure your copper is in there all the way and everything's clamped down real well. So that's together. And the switch is going to be like this. So I would like to put this in here and put this this portion down okay so so that's in there now the other wire that goes to the switch is the red wire this is the switching wire it comes out right here that's the same wire okay so that's going to go to the other brass colored terminal okay that's tightened down securely we'll just leave this right here for a second so I'm going to work on the grounds over here so this is a three connector wiggle lever nut. Put it on there like that. Put this on there like that. This is a pigtail that I've prepared that will go to the receptacle. So you put that in there like that. I'm going to install the receptacle in this orientation with the ground up because we're assuming that the rest of the receptacles in the house are oriented like this with the ground down. I would like to put this one in a different orientation to signify to the homeowner that this is a half hot receptacle. I'll push the ground wire into the back upper portion of the box so that it'll be ready for the receptacle. Now we need to put on the mud ring. So the mud ring's on. Now let's put the uh, ground wire in here. Okay, ground wires attached very securely. Now here's the neutral wire. So we're gonna take this and attach it right here to the neutral side. Okay, it's tightened very well on there. Now there's a tab right here that takes this electrical energy over to this terminal as well. So both of the duplex receptacles are served with neutral uh, because of this tab. Now we need to break the tab that connects the two brass colored terminals on the hot side of the receptacle. So take your needle nose pliers or electrical installation pliers and grab the tab real well. And now you're gonna just go back and forth, back and forth. See, back and forth, back and forth. And there it is, it broke right off. That's very necessary for wiring a half hot receptacle. This needs to be hot all the time. And remember the black wire is hot all the time. So we're going to connect this to the upper terminal. See, that's the upper terminal, black, and we're, we've broken the tab right here.
Okay, so that's connected very well. And here's our switched hot wire, the red wire, and it's gonna serve the lower portion of the duplex receptacle. Okay, so we have the black hot wire serving the upper portion of the duplex receptacle, and that'll be hot all the time. We have the red wire serving the lower portion of the duplex receptacle, and that will be hot at, on a switched manner. So let's do a recap. We have the black hot wire that's hot all the time on one side of the switch. We have the red switch wire on the other side of the switch to the brass colored terminal. We have the ground and over here uh, we have the neutral coming to the silver terminal ground up here and then on this side we have the wire that's hot all the time serving the upper portion of the duplex receptacle and we have the red switch wire going to the lower portion of the duplex receptacle. Now I have some black electrician's tape and I'm going to wrap a couple wraps uh, around each of the devices for safety. All right, so I dress the wires and you can give them a little extra push sometimes with, with this tool right here. My friend Warren Tarbell invented this. He's a, he's a master electrician and uh, this is his invention. It's called a Volt Claw. So you might like to use one of those. So now I'm gonna snap on the screwless wall plates. They're called screwless because all this area has no screws. Let's snap that on there. Snap that on there. So I've turned on the circuit breaker and now I'm going to go ahead and plug this lamp into this receptacle on the top portion. And remember the top portion is hot all the time. This is my circuit breaker finder kit, which is made by Ideal, and this is my outlet tester right here. It's, it's part of the circuit breaker finder kit, and so I plug it in right here. Okay, it's off right now. You turn on this switch, and there it is. You got two green lights, off, on, off, on, and notice when I switch this off, this light stays on all the time. So that's how you wire a half hot receptacle with the power coming to the switch. Now I have another video that shows how to wire a half hot receptacle with the power coming to the receptacle. This video hasn't been sponsored by anybody. So I just used what I felt was the very best of each tool and device. I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke 1AC voltage detector, the Fluke 117 electrician's meter, the Fluke meter hanging kit, the Leviton Decora Plus spec grade 20 amp receptacle, and the Leviton Decora Plus spec grade switch, the DeWalt 12 volt max impact driver, the Weha number two 1000 volt insulated Zeno driver, which fits the Leviton terminals perfectly, Wago lever nuts, the DeWalt cable stapler, Kinepex electrical installation pliers, and eight inch diagonal cutters, the ideal circuit breaker finder kit. And last but not least, the Carlin light and fan box. Thanks for watching.